Christ and receive the body of our brother Tavita for burial. Let us pray with confidence in God, the giver of life, that you will raise him to perfection in the company of the saints. Deliver your servant Tavita, O servant Lord Christ, from all evil and set him free from every bond that he may rest with all your saints in the eternal habitations of the Father and the Holy Spirit, who live and reign one God forever and ever. Amen. I invite you to stand. I am resurrection and I am life, says the Lord. Whoever has faith in me shall have life, even though he die. And everyone who has life and has committed himself to be in faith shall not die forever. As for me, I know that my Redeemer lives, and that at the last he will stand upon the earth. After my awaking, he will raise me up. And in my body I shall see God. I myself shall see, and my eyes be not who is my friend, and not his friend. For none of us has life in himself, and none becomes his own master when he dies. For if we have life, we are alive in the Lord. And if we die in the Lord, so then, whether we live or die, we are the Lord's possession. Happy from now on are those who die in the Lord. So it says, the Spirit, where they rest from their labors. I want to thank everyone here for joining us as we celebrate the life of our brother, Tavita. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. O oh God of grace and glory, we remember before you this day our brother Tavita. We thank you for giving him to us, his family and friends, to know and to love as a companion on our earthly pilgrimage. In your boundless compassion, console us to mourn. Give us faith to see in death, the gate of eternal life, so that in quiet confidence we may continue our course on earth until, by your call, we are reunited by those who have gone before us through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Please be seated for our reading. In the year of King Uchatai, I saw the Lord. He is seated on his throne. His long robe filled the temple. He was highly honored. About him were seraphim. Each of them had six wings. With two wings, they covered their face. With two wings, they covered their feet, and with two wings, they were flying. They were calling out to one another. They were saying, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord who ruled over all. The whole earth is full of his glory. The sound of their voices caused the stone to offering to shake. The temple was filled with smoke. How terrible it is for me, I cried out. I am about to be destroyed. My mouth speaks sinful words, and I live among people who speak sinful words. Now I have seen the king with my own eyes. He is the Lord who rules over all. The seraph flew over to me. He was holding a hot coal. He used tongues to take it 
from the altar. He touched my mouth with a cord. He said, this, is, this has touched your lips. Your guilt has been taken away. Your sin has been paid for. Then I heard the voice of the Lord. He said, who will I send? Who will go for us? I said, here I am, send me. So he said, go and speak to the people. Tell them you will hear, but never understand. You will see, but never know what you are seeing. Make the hearts of the people stubborn. Plug up their ears. Close their eyes. Otherwise, they might see with their eyes. They might, they might hear with their, their ears. They might understand with their hearts. And they might turn to me to be healed. Then I said, Lord, how long will it be like that? He answered, it will be last until the cities of Israel are destroyed. It will last until no one is living in them. It will last until the house are desert. The fear. <coughs> The fields will be completely destroyed. I will last, it will last until the Lord has sent everyone far away. The land will totally desert. Suppose only tenth of the people remain there. Even then the land will be completely destroyed again. But when all, all trees and tree bench, trees are cut down, stumps are left, and my holy people will be like stumps that begin to grow again. This is the word of the Lord. Let's say together Psalm 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He made it be by my hand in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restored us my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear of no evil. For thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup from the floor. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Please stand and let us sing together from our blue hymn number 685.
Jesus said to his disciples, Do not let your heart be troubled. Believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house there are many mansions. If it were not so, would I have told you that I go to prepare a place for you? And if I go and prepare a place for you, I will come again and will take you to myself, so that where I am, there you may be also. And you know the way to the place where I am going. Thomas said to the Lord, We do not know where you are going. How can we know the way? Jesus said to him, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. If you know me, you will know my Father also. From now on you know him and have seen him. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Christ. Christ. We give thanks to God for the life of his servant and contribution to the ministry of the church. Praise God, nothing in death and in the world in the world as it is that shall be in all creation can separate us from the love of God. Reverend Dr. David Aita Kolomatani was born on the 3rd of June 1951 in their home in their family home Otumapa, Salote Road, Nugalofa, Kingdom of Tonga. His parents are Sianukupo Kolomatani and Melekaloafu Pahuru Kolomatani of Fasmoyafi, Nugalofa Tonga. Sianitupo and Melekaloafu Pahuru Kolomatani has nine children and St. Dubow had a daughter. Reverend Evita Itakolomatani was number seven of his siblings. The eldest was Salote Elizabeth Kolomatani Roger, married to Stephen Roger. Rest in peace. The second was Sione Sia Sosiwa Tumuka Kolomatani, married to Valentina Lotaki Kolomatani. Rest in peace. The third one was Emma Fisi Lose of Enyangana, Kolomatangi Patuki, married to Liana Patuki, rest in peace. Number four was Viliani Falanke Kolomatangi, married to Heikolo Naitoko, Kolomatangi, rest in peace. The fifth one, Sidney Fayana Kolomatangi Prescott, married, rest in peace, married to Sonasi Penny Prescott. Six, Taniela Patelisi, Kolomatangi, married to Reverend Lola, Baker Kolomatangi, rest in peace. Tevita Ita Kolomatangi, rest in peace, married to Latu Taukei Aho, Kolomatangi. Number eight, William Ita Fuatonga, Kolomatangi, married to Latai Moala, Kolomatangi. And number nine, Yusak Pelenaise Tapua Kilele, Kolomatangi Malolo, married to Andrew Tony Malolo. And Salote Ratumbuli, rest in peace. In 1979, Reverend Dr. David Aita Kolomatangi, married to Latu Tagea Kolomatangi, and had six children. The eldest of the children was Stephen Andrew John David Kolomatangi. Second, Mere Kaloafu, Kolomatangi Tovi, 
married to Christian Tommy. Third one is Palaisita Pendina Kolomatani. Fourth one was William Frank Edwin Timothy Peace Kolomatani. Siopis Hokai Maka Emetisi Kolomatani, married to Amelia Kasimia Toma Kolomatani. Number six was Jeremy Paula Lava Pahul Kolomatani. And number seven, Charlene Mary Lisa Kolomatagi, rest in peace. Dr. Tevita Ita Kolomatagi has 12 grandchildren. Charlene Mary Lisa Kolomatagi, Sinelama Junior Kolomatagi, Makalita Tobi, Tevita Andrew, Edwin Swakai Paula Kolomatagi, Kwendali Tobi, Andy Latu Kolomatagi, Lavita Tabwa Pilele Helotu Tobi. Latu hei lala tobi, salote one one kolomatagi, mele kaloafu pahu kolomatagi, haver kolomatagi, and Christian Jr. Reverend Tevita Ita kolomatagi begins his education at the GPS Fasimoyafi Nukolofa in 1957 to 1963. He then went into St. Andrew High School in 1964 to 1970. He was the head boy of the school in the 1970. Dr. Tevita passed, passed his Tonga Higher Living Certificate Education, became a science teacher at St. Andrew High School, 1973 to 1977. He was also the president of the Anglican Church in Tonga for the youth at St. Paul Mukalafa. In 1980, he received his calling from God to leave everything behind, follow God's calling and spiritual at the Anglican Church, Diocese of Polynesia. Tevita and his beloved wife dedicated their lives for God's ministries. They left their homeland and went to Suva, Fiji for further studies, training at St. John Theological College for parish food, for priesthood. In 1982, Reverend Tevita Ita was ordained deacon at the Holy Trinity Cathedral in Suva, Fiji, after the ordination, Reverend Te Dr. Tevita returned to Tonga and his beloved wife Latu and worked at St. Paul's, Nukalofa, 1984. He was ordained priest at the St. Paul, Nukalofa. At the time he was placed to work at St. Paul, he was well dedicated spiritually and physically, and he also worked at St. Barnabas Mataika. In 1986, Father Tevita Ita Kolomtangi and his beloved wife Latu Dage Aha Kolomtangi received scholarships from the World Council of Churches to go for further studies in Posse University in Geneva, Switzerland. And graduated from Posse University, Dr. Tevita Ita Kolomtangi and his wife Latu had the privilege to be invited by the Pope John Paul II to have a private audience and visit and visit historical places within the Vatican and many parts of Europe. In 1987 to 1990, he was called to serve and become the priest in charge of the Holy Trinity, Pangai Hapai. In 1991 to 1994, he was called to work at St. Andrew at Neyafu Havao and priest in charge. In 1995, he was called to teach, serve, as a chaplain with his wife and family at St. Andrew School, Nukalofa. In 1997, he graduated with a master's degree in arts and ministry from Tacoma, Washington, USA. In 1998, Reverend Dr. Tevita Ita Lomatani went back to Suva, Fiji to continue his studies and his wife at the Pacific Theological College in Suva. Father Tevita graduated with a Bachelor of Divinity and it was an honor for Father Tevita Kolomatani and his wife Batu to both award the best grade and the most improved st students of the year at the Whole Pacific Theological College in Suva. After graduating, he moved and worked at the Holy Trinity Cathedral in Suva, Fiji. From there, he was called to be the lecturer at St. John's, the Baptist Theological College, to train students to become priests. In 2004, he returned to Tonga from Fiji to be the trainer officer 
for the Anglican Church in Tonga and later worked as a vegan priest in charge at St. Barnabas Mataika Mubalofa. He also graduated with his PhD from the Faith Seminary in Tacoma, Washington, USA. Reverend Dr. Devita Ita Kompatagi was also the director of the Mission to Seafarers Prison and Hospitals for the Diocese of Aotearoa, New Zealand and Polynesia. He was also a board member of the Mission Board in Aotearoa, New Zealand and Polynesia. He was also elected by the Synod to represent the Diocese of Aotearoa, New Zealand for the Executive Committee for the Tikana in Social Justice. Reverend David Ita Kolomatagi was also a member of the Committee for the Tong Council of Churches. And last, not the least, in 2015, he was asked by the Archbishop to retire from his work due to medical condition. And on the same year, 2015, he moved into the United States, California, where his situation was not critical. And he was survived for eight years. And on the, fifth, on the 6th of December, 2023, at the Peninsula Hospital Foundation, Burlingame, San Francisco, Reverend Dr. Tevita Ita Kolomatangi passed away peacefully and returned home to our Father. Rest in peace, Reverend Dr. Tevita Ita Kolomatangi. Love and miss you always. Your wife, Latu Taukeyaho Kolomatangi. Your children and grandchildren, your beloved family, relatives, the church as a whole. Farewell, Reverend Dr. Ita Kolomatagi. Until the glorious morning, Ofa Lahiyat.
What does new life mean when he is no longer physically present with us, but still very present in our heart? Those are all things that we will answer throughout our lifetime. But what we do know is that the glory of God has shined through this man, and each and every one of us who are here today has been somehow influenced by his love, his care, his charisma, his uh, smile. <laughs> and his ability to be able to question and to wonder about all of the things in life, from the big things to the small things, and to appreciate. He had a close, close love for his family. Pray for everyone every day. He would tell me that he would love to sing songs, which I know that's part of the culture. But I also know that singing songs, because every word that we say is truly a reflection of our, our heart. So when we sing, well, we are really sharing the love that's already with him. The rooms that Jesus was talking about in the scripture is all about a space that he is there with us, that Christ is there with us, but also Tabitha is there with us, holding that space so that we will find a time when we will reunite together. That the life that we know is only a part of the life that we have eternally in the glory of God. And that is indeed a blessing. So, as we leave this place and as we celebrate this man's life, you heard also a piece of scripture, actually a lot of it, you heard the whole Isaiah 6. And in there, uh, when I asked Latu what scripture meant most to Tabitha, she said, Isaiah 6. And there's that one phrase in there that really stands out. Who will go and tell the people, God's people, the truth? Who will tell them the way of God's love? Who will tell them the stuff that's hard? Isaiah says, I will go. And that's answering the calling to take responsibility, to love. Take responsibility to love and to share God's love, even in the places that it's not easy. But that's what he does. Here I am. I will go. And if you could hear the journey of Tavita along with Latu in their life, that journey has taken them from places to places to places to places to many places. There's a reason why there's a TV camera out there broadcasting this right now. It's because there's people around the world who know of this life, this man's life. But all of it for the glory of God. All of it to share the good news of who He knew as the Savior, Jesus Christ. All of that to share that this life, this life here, the way we know it, is only a little bit temporary. There's something way beyond. There's something way beautiful. And that is what we look forward to. So as we celebrate Abitha's life here today, what does new life mean for us? It means something absolutely beautiful. And that has always been my experience of our brother, Abitha. God bless you, everybody, and God keep you. And as we continue, um, we're going to sing a hymn. Um, that is a very traditional hymn that Stephen brought out. So I invite you to stand and let us sing together from our hymn number 483. Oh, for a, oh, 493. For oh, for a thousand tongues to sing.
console Mary and Martha in their distress, draw near to us who mourn for Tonita and dry the tears of those who weep. Hear us, Lord. You wept at the grave of Lazarus, your friend. Comfort us in our sorrow. Hear us, Lord. You raised the dead to life. Give to our brother eternal life. Hear, Hear us, Lord. Lord. You promised paradise to the thief who repented. Bring our brother to the joys of heaven. Hear us, Hear us Lord. Our brother was washed in baptism and anointed with the Holy Spirit. Give him fellowship with all your saints. Hear, Hear us, Lord. He was nourished with your body and blood. Grant him a place at the table in our heavenly kingdom. Hear, Hear us, Lord. Father of all, we pray to you for Tobita and all those whom we love but see no longer. Grant to them eternal rest. Let light perpetual shine upon them. May it soul the souls of all that are pardoned through the mercy of God. Rest Amen. in peace. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Let us greet one another with God's sign. Priest of the church, um, Tabita specifically wanted to, us to share in this holy communion. If it's your tradition, it's part of the Christian tradition to come up for communion, uh, invite anyone who feels so called to, to come up. If it is not your tradition and you'd like to still receive a blessing from Father Eric and I, uh, just have to cross your arms and we will know to give you a blessing. But all are invited to the Lord's table. Yours, O Lord, is the greatness, the power, the glory, the victory, and the majesty. For everything in heaven and on earth is yours. Yours, O Lord, is the kingdom, and you are exalted as head over all.
The Lord be with you. And also with you. Lift up your hearts. Amen. We praise you and we bless you, holy and gracious God, source of life abundant. From before time, you made ready the creation. Your spirit moved over the deep and brought all things into being, sun, moon, stars, earth, winds, and waters, and every living thing. You made us in your image and taught us to walk in your ways. But we rebelled against you and wandered far away. And yet, as a mother cares for her children, you would not forget us. Time and time again, you call us to live in faith, the faithfulness of your love. And so this day, we join with saints and angels in the chorus of praise that brings us to eternity, lifting our voices to magnify you as we say, Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of power and might, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna and the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. Glory and honor and praise to you, holy and living God, to deliver us from the power of sin and death, to reveal the riches of your grace. You look with favor upon Mary, your willing servant, that she might receive and bear a son, Jesus, the holy child of God. Living among us, Jesus loves us. He broke bread with outcasts and sinners, healed the sick, and proclaimed good news to the poor. He yearned to draw the whole world to himself, and yet he were boundless to heed his call to walk in love. Then the time came for him to complete upon the cross the sacrifice of his life, and to be glorified to you. On the night before he died for us, Jesus was at the table with his friends. He took bread gave thanks to you, broke it, and gave to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is given for you. Do this for the remembrance of me. After supper was ended, Jesus took a cup of wine. Again, he gave thanks to you, gave to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is poured out for you and for all for the forgiveness of sins. Whenever you drink it, do this for the remembrance of me. Now gather at the table, O God, of all creation, remembering Christ crucified and risen, who was and is and is to come, we offer to you our gifts of bread and wine and ourselves a living sacrifice. Pour out the Spirit upon these gifts, that they may be the body and blood of Christ. Breathe your Spirit over the whole earth and make us your new creation, the body of Christ given for the world you have made. In the fullness of time, bring us with Matthew and all your saints from every tribe and language and people and nation to feast the banquet prepared from the foundation of the world. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, you be honor and glory and praise forever and ever. Amen. And now, as our Savior Christ has taught us, we will sing in time.
And you have given us a foretaste of your heavenly banquet. Grant that the sacrament may be to us a comfort and refreshment, and a pledge of our inheritance in that kingdom, where there is no death, neither sorrow nor crying, but the fullness of joy with all your saints, through Jesus Christ our Savior. Give rest, O Christ, to your servant with your saints, where sorrow and pain are no more, neither sighing, but life everlasting. Together. We are mortal, the creator and maker of mankind, and we are mortal, born on the earth, and to our earth shall we return. For so did you ordain when you made the sin, you are dust, and dust we shall return. All of us go down to the dust, yet even at the grave, Give rest, O Christ, your servant, with your saints, for sorrow gain are no more, neither sign but life everlasting. Let us pray. Gracious God, who alone is the source of all life, may your life-giving spirit flow through us so that we may be your ministers of compassion to one another. In our sorrow, give us the calm of your peace and kindle our hope. And in your good time, let our grief give way to joy through Jesus Christ our deliverer. Life is short, and we do not have much time to gladden the hearts of those who walk the way with us. So let's be swift to love, make haste to be kind, and the blessing of God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit be among you always. Amen. We're going to sing the hymn Amazing Grace, but before that, uh, I'd like to uh, let you know that our service uh, follow the hymn will continue at the gravesite. And so we will process right after the hymn towards the gravesite. Everyone will be following uh, the beacon and the casket uh, towards, and then we'll process in, uh, with our vehicles to Cypress Mountain in Palma. Let's sing together Amazing Grace, the number 679.
Let's gather around a little bit closer, everybody. I see a few more folks. Come on, gather around. to me will come to me and I will never turn away anyone who believes in me he who raised Jesus Christ from the dead will also give new life to our mortal bodies through his indwelling spirit my heart therefore is glad and my spirit rejoices my body also shall rest in hope you will show me the path of life in your presence there is fullness of joy and in your right hand are pleasures forevermore. I'm going to bless this grave site. O God, whose blessed Son was laid in a sepulchre in the garden, bless, we pray, this grave, and grant that Tabitha, whose body is to be buried here, may dwell with Christ in paradise and may come to your heavenly kingdom to Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Ensure in certain hope in the resurrection of eternal life to Jesus Christ, we commend to Almighty God, our brother Tevita, and we commit his body to the ground, earth to earth, ashes to ashes, dust the Lord bless him and keep him the Lord make his face to shine upon him and be gracious to him the Lord lift up his countenance and give him peace together in the language of your heart let us say the Lord's prayer our Father who art in heaven, 
hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil, for thine is the kingdom, and the power and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. Rest eternal, grant it to Vita, O Lord, and let light perpetual shine upon him. May his soul and the souls of all the departed, through the mercy of God, rest in peace. The God of peace, who brought again from the dead our Lord Jesus Christ, the great shepherd of sheep, through the blood of eternal covenant, make you perfect in every good work, to do his will, working in you that which is pleasing in his sight, through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Hallelujah, Christ has risen. No, 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 we do that. Que 